Guys, this is the one so many people have been waiting for, including lots of our viewers, actually. It's Conan and Portugal. He's just had his first run through yes. and with his first rehearsal in Tel Aviv. We're going to talk about it. Let's start with so much expectation uh, on this guy's shoulders, actually. Mm -hmm. And some hints that maybe he was going to do something different. Yes. Clara, can you describe visually kind of Conan's performance? Mm -hmm. So the, the performance opens with a close shot of Conan and he's dressed in green, guys. And... Um, he saw the dancer, you are, is also dressed in green. There's not so many, um, how do you, I don't know how you call these little things. He had feathers, uh, this, like feather type this things. This kind of feather type things. There's not, nothing like that. It's all like um, pleather, like it's plaited. Uh, it's a plaited skirt and uh, plaited skirt and trousers. And they're green and shiny. And the rest of the stage is red like Portugal, like yeah. a Portuguese flag. Oh, I've just realized oh, it is colored like the Portuguese <laughs> flag. And he's got the trainers on as well, guys. I nearly fell over. Yes. Um, oh, that's a really nice touch then. The fact that the stage in his Portuguese flag, so many Portuguese people behind this song. Yeah. And there, the backdrop is an arabesque. Uh, it's a... a a few arcs, arabesque arcs, arcs connected to each other to create a good, uh, kind of very beautiful frame. And um, yeah, it's, the rose is still there rolling, so everything is very Conan. I have to say the performance of the song got me really excited. Yes. I've been waiting and waiting. We haven't seen him perform this kind of in the build up to Tel Aviv. Um, we didn't really have any hints of what he was going to do. I'm glad he's kept it uh, kind of the dancing and the movement quite similar to Festival de Cancel. Mm -hmm. But I have to say the choreography was really slick, actually. Wow. And Conan's actually moving a bit mm -hmm. with, uh, I'm so bad at pronouncing this, Joao, um, the dancer. Um, so I thought the choreography was very well rehearsed, um, really effective. He had his... Um, Face piece. It was dark this time to match the arabesques. Yeah, but it's great to see something very, very different on the Eurovision stage. We've got a few songs this year that are, uh, people would call alternative or, or different. Jess, I know you weren't necessarily a big fan of this song, but has this performance won you over now? Well, I'm still not a big fan of the song, but I was worried by his performance, I will say. The colours, the visuals, the choreography and his vocals I was really impressed by and I feel like I'm starting to kind of understand a little bit more of the song and of the performance which I thought was translated very well on stage and like Andy mentioned before everything was so slick so smooth and it just came together really nicely and I expect I expect big things for Portugal this year after seeing their rehearsal yeah I mean he is a true artist and you can see how like how rehearsed this has been. Um, you know, he's putting himself out there as an artist, and that's what I love about Portugal this year. Very, very happy uh, with, the, with the rehearsal that we've seen today. I'm gonna say, I think this is easily gonna qualify uh, to the final. I think because it's so different, not everyone is gonna like it, yeah, but different. some people are gonna love it. You either love it, or you hate it and I think there's going to be more lovers than haters uh, for this one I think it'll pick up a lot of jury points as well I think the juries are going to like uh, just how different this song this performance is yeah. and it's very technical uh, there's a lot of uh, contemporary music involved in this song and also Conan manages to fill the stage with just him and Joao so it's a very dynamic duo and they do very work very well together. Yeah, the stage is empty but you can't take your eyes off yes. them and that's what this performance uh, should be about. It's a, it's a, it's about the it's about the act itself of Conan and jo Joao. I need to learn how to say it. Joao, Joao. Um, but yeah, I think it's going to qualify, Jess. Definitely going to qualify. Clara. I assume it's going to qualify, yes. Uh, that's what we think, guys. But you need to go to the official Eurovision channel, check out uh, their rehearsal clip, and then let us know in the comments uh, what you think. Um, but otherwise, uh, go give us a like on Facebook, tweet us on Twitter, and find us on Instagram. Until next time, Telemovic.